As long as you don't have anything on that channel, you can put whatever markers you need. Now to guesswork when the last trip when the last uh, car leaves the brakes. Let's stay here, just for the heck of it. Thirty seven. Now we shall add brake release sounds. Okay, I found one. I suppose that can do. But you can also use a um, lowered version of, uh, say, something very simple. For example, Probably depends on how you fade it as well. Anyway, here we have something. Yep, sounds nice. And then some brakes are very smooth, and that's when you use and that's when you use this sound piece in a um, fading way, like a. But I don't know about this one. Let's see. Thirty-eight fifteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen. Yeah. Um. Well, how to do it? Well, it all depends on what you'd prefer to hear, or can also depend on how smooth the train stops. But oh, smooth enough. So one of these low volume. Then what does it say? Fine volume up. Sounds nice. And then just uh, do like so un until one. Until we've slowed down enough. Uh, Forty one oh six and that um, until the next pattern. <laughs> well, let's see now. Uh, fade in as much as we can. Yeah. See me, of course. Can use a one at the bottom, then control J. Interpolate the effect. Uh B one. When does it reach its minimal? Forty two nineteen? There we go. And the release sound. Maybe a little lower. Ah yes. Blocked. Section blocked, therefore the train stops a little bit. Forty six sixteen. Mm -hmm. Right, next pattern. Forty six. Freed. 
Be your ride. Now we go through it. Satisfied and everything? Save. Must always save. If there's anything else else you'd like to add, the um, the sound of friction wheels banging at the hole or anything, feel free to do that as well. And then you can save as mp3 or as WAV. You can save as WAV if the mp3 doesn't work, but since I can, yes I can save, then I might as well. Unless there's an error. <laughs> One other thing. I've added a little panning here for um, special effects. You can add these if you want, but uh, there's no real point if it's only going to be used for YouTube. Because YouTube takes only one channel and puts it into mono. Here's an example. Now that you've saved your MP3 or WAV or whatever, drag it into your audio section. And then... Watch the result. Okay, you happy with your creation? Okay. Okay, save your project, and... then we create a Navi. Or MOV, or MP, whatever you choose. So that you can upload it to YouTube. did you save it as? Did you save it according to YouTube specifications? Yeah, it's a little silly that they took away the, uh, the message as you upload your videos. Maybe too few people were reading it, so they didn't bother with it. You know, it's a funny thing. <laughs> people are faster in putting their questions in the comments than going to Google and writing in the keywords there. Very strange. I'm starting to wonder if there's any point in having a search engine at all. <laughs> anyway, I'm sure a lot of you are now interested in how one does it in virtual dub. Well, I'll show you. First, you have to convert your WMV to AVI. Or MPEG. That will do good as well. <laughs> 